Thank you so much. Oh my God. I want to empower you to be quiet now. Um, holy crap, everyone looks amazing tonight. Uh, my name is Pat, as insane as that sounds. And, um, you know, I just want to take a second up top to get in front of something. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell from where you're sitting, but I do have very, very long eyelashes. Um, you'll come up to me after, you'll be like, oh my God, those are long. And I'll say, I know, I told you, I said that. And they're so long that actually my whole life people have thought like they were fake. Like everyone's always like, oh my God, do you wear fake lashes? Is that mascara? And so I just want to tell you all here tonight that um, they're real. And actually, I am getting a lash reduction surgery soon. <laughs> because they're too big, you know? They're hurting my back. <laughs> I want to be able to run. <laughs> Um, I'm gay, that's why I act this way. Uh, um, so I love Queer Eye, I love the show Queer Eye. Uh, yeah, give it up. I love how they kind of accost kind of a broken down individual <laughs> and say, hey, hey, listen, we're gonna help you. But what you need to know is that what matters is not how you look, okay? What matters is how you feel. And how you feel is based on how you look. So we're gonna teach you about under eye stick for that reason. I think that's so cool. My computer is actually in the green room breastfeeding right now, um, which is what I call it, my phone charges from my computer. And it, guess what, it's beautiful and it's natural. And I actually think it's a miracle that computers were built to be able to feed phones. Nothing else, if anyone here has a phone that is wall-fed, I know some amazing wall-fed phones who went on to be scientists. <laughs> Um, I, um, I, I gained about 40 pounds during the global pandemic, thank you. And I did, I lost it, I lost it all. Don't applaud because that would be toxic and you would have to leave. <laughs> um, I lost the weight using the weight loss app Noom. Do you know about that app? Yeah, if you don't know about Noom, it's this amazing app that helps you have an eating disorder for a little while. <laughs> so cool that it got invented by the app inventors. Um, <laughs> And, um, you know, I heard about it the way I hear about every diet, which is that my straight cousin's fiance used it to lose 12 pounds for her wedding, and then that was all my mom talked about for three months. <laughs> um, and so I was setting up my Noom account, and you have to fill out all these questionnaires, and then I got to one page where the question was just, have you ever had an eating disorder? And I have struggled with that, so I said yes. And then the next page was like, okay, go, run, you're not safe. You can't be here, run away, you can't have this. This isn't for you, go. And I was like, okay. Um, but then I saw that that page had a back button. <laughs> so I clicked it. I turned back the hands of time. Um, and then it was like, oh my God, welcome to Noom. You're going to love it. This is going to be amazing for you. This is going to be really good for you. So I'm a master manipulator. You know, I'm living a double life. If I seem exhausted, it's because I'm living a double life. Um, no, I am exhausted. I'm very tired, but it's actually because... Uh, I had to print something out today. <laughs> kind of one of the hardest things you could do in today's society, right? They make it so hard. I mean, I'll tell you, I'm from the US, and it is easier to get a gun in that country than it is to print something out. And actually, I call for reform. <laughs> um, my phone actually thinks I'm straight, uh, which I know to be true because it recently autocorrected hi bitch to hobbit. I was like, Jesus Christ, I can pass to even one of my closest friends. <laughs> um, no, I actually can't pass. I recently was on a network's kind of digital, I, I did a digital stand-up video for a television network, which is huge and the purple heart of our times. And, um, and I really did know gay material, you know, just like family values. Uh, but I did speak in this voice and it upset straight people across the nation. <laughs> um, <laughs> They, I think, thought I was doing it on purpose, which I actually agree would be sociopathic. <laughs> but I actually speak this way on accident, if you could believe. And I did read every single comment because I am absolutely f obsessed with myself. <laughs> and it was just like, gay people aren't funny. I hate gay people. I hate the white girl wine. We get it. You like don't got to sound like one's in you right now. <laughs> Which that one was interesting to me because I was like, wait, which gay porn are you watching? 
where these bottoms are delivering perfectly crafted jokes while being absolutely penetrated. <laughs> because, <laughs> thank you. Because that, that is not my experience. You know, when I have a in me right now, it is a completely different soundscape. <laughs> Um, but anyways, finally then people did come on. And actually one person, this is a real comment, came on and to defend me and said, hey, everyone shut up because gay people are funny. And just because this person isn't funny <laughs> doesn't mean no gay people are funny. <sighs> I was like, oh my God, even the allies are absolutely dragging me. <laughs> um, I have had every single day job in the world, so I don't want to focus on the one I was worst at. Um, for a time, I was actually a temp gay receptionist at a commercial realty firm. And listen, I live in the world, okay? I know about receptionists. I know that they're gay. <laughs> and so as a gay man, I always kind of thought, you know, at some point I will be called to do that civic duty. <laughs> and so when I found myself sitting at a desk, you know, wearing a sweater, it very much felt like I'd been drafted. <laughs> and it was time to serve my cunch. So my first day, this like medium hot 39-year-old straight man named Keith comes up to my desk and he's like, hey, I'm going to work on with you on a couple of things. Um, do you know Excel? And I was like, yeah, Keith, I know Excel. <laughs> um, but I don't know Excel. You know, I know, um, I generally do, but like summing and formulas. Like when I say I know Excel, I mean that I'm physically able to type things into boxes. <laughs> That's what knowing Excel means for me and my family. And he was like, great, because, you know, Excel is one of those things that everyone says they know, and then some people don't know it. And for some reason, I tripled down and said, Keith, I know those people. I hate those people. I am not those people. Look at my eyes. Am I lying? I know Excel. And he was like, cool, I'll come sit with you later. So my whole first day, I'm, like, having stress ulcers, like, oh, my God, this straight man's going to come. I'm going to have to, like, perform Excel for him. And I'm like, how hard can it be? I'll teach myself. So I open the program, I'm looking, and they don't make it easy. Like, we have so many letters and numbers and like known symbols that have keys, but Excel will do something like, they'll have a button that's like an E, but it's like a zigzag E. Do you know that? I can't Google what that E means because I can't explain it to Google. <laughs> so finally, at the end of the day, Keith comes over, and if memory serves, he sits down and he says, well, do Excel. And then I think I was like, bitch, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> so I'm kind of bluffing. I open the program, and it's like whatever the last temp gay receptionist was working on. And my hands are moving to the keys very slowly. It's slow motion. Time is accordioning. And um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. And then I'm shocked, as anyone, to hear myself turn and just once again formally come out to him as gay. And he was like, yeah, I think you had said that. Cool, that's fine. And he like walked away. And so what I will say is if you are a queer person, and someone wants you to know Excel. Coming out to that person can be a really helpful diversion tool. <laughs> it's worked for me, it's in my tool bag. If you're straight, unfortunately, you do have to know Excel. <laughs> you can't have every single thing. Thank you guys so much, I'm Harry again. <laughs> <laughs>